What's going on, fellow band critics? This is Stephen Holiday here. I am currently at American Dream Mall in New Jersey. Jonesboro High School just marched that Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and was right there alongside of them, the media team, man, it was a lot of fun. The kids did amazing and they were the best band in the parade. That's not me saying that, everyone saying it, Google it for yourselves. And what an experience. It was raining, it was 42 degrees, but let me tell you something, I was smiling the entire time. I did not realize how wet we were to the very end, what an honor it was to be in that parade. Never thought I'd be able to participate in the parade from that angle. The band dominated that entire street. Everybody was cheering, y'all know how it is. And for the, everyone who has experienced that parade before, marched in it, you already know, it's so unforgettable. And I'm very thankful to have been able to capture all this stuff for Jonesboro High School, because man, those kids deserve it. And let me tell you, your boy did not miss one fucking shot. ESPN just dropped the rankings for the band of the year on Tuesday, and Tuesday they had a press conference. I was on it along with everybody was on there, man. I saw Rogers Bros in the room, uh, Kevin Poteet, you know what I'm saying? HBCU Band Uncut. I saw a Killer Kev logo on there, Lamix videos, A1 Media said something. It was great, and Kurt, we were at Aladdin on Broadway when this was going on, and I, um, fortunately enough, the theater manager allowed me to step out and go down and use the lounge where I had the Wi-Fi and everything, so I was able to log on the Zoom call, looking all crazy on a damn cell phone. I've never been on Zoom on a cell phone. That shit is wild. It was crazy. I was trying to... I, it was my turn to ask a question. I couldn't even figure out how to unmute the thing. I looked all stupid and shit. I was like... And it just wasn't working. I was trying to find the menu. Then uh, the moderator was like, everyone, please be ready to unmute yourselves. I was like, oh man, how embarrassing. So we we're just gonna come back. It was, it was embarrassing. I asked a question about the rankings for musicality. Here they are, boom. For division one, you see that Jackson State is ranked number two and FAMU is ranked number one for musicality. And I asked, when they're judging that category, what goes all into it? Because I like the way all the bands sound and it's very hard to tell what's better than what. And they went into it, they explained it, but they also said, if you look at the scores, look at number one, and look at number eight. There's only about a 10 point difference in between all the scores and stuff like that. So just because one band might be ranked number eight doesn't mean that they sound bad because they say that's the hardest category to judge its musicality because all the bands sound so good. I don't know if that Zoom call was live or what. Are they gonna post it or something like that? I don't know. But I had to leave the call early because the band was getting ready to leave the theater because the show's over. And y'all know if y'all ever been to New York on Broadway, moving 130 some kids out there, it's, it's a task. So when it's time to move, it's time to move. Okay, so here's the ranks for division one, boom. There they are, right there. You see number one, North Carolina A&T is still number one. However, they lost points. They are now out of that perfect score. And number two is still Florida A&M. So by the looks of it, if they are going with the top five, looks like the top two, unless something changes between now and next week, going to be Florida A&M and North Carolina A&T. And I agree with that, in my personal opinion. I think the two bands deserve it. They look good, they sound good. But North Carolina A&T, this ain't going to be no cakewalk. Bam, you stuff looks good, they sound great. And look, musicality, they're still number one. Y'all rank number four. I'm just pointing that out. But again, I'm not saying y'all sound bad because I was at your practice last Sunday. You all sound fucking amazing. Seeing and hearing you all practice, I can see how and why you all are still number one. My goodness, seeing you all in person, that's something. That's very unique to see North Carolina a and at their own practice field and you all sound amazing. I know you guys got the Falcons football halftime show this Sunday coming up, so that's gonna be great. Good luck to that and safe travels. Now let's look at division two real quick. Boom, there it is. Now you can see number one, we still have Virginia State. And look, number two is Florida Memorial look closely at those scores they are exactly the same it is 310 to 310 and Virginia State is at number one because they are 310.5 and Florida Memorial had 310.3 so they are literally neck and neck so that's gonna be a rematch it's looking like to me it's gonna be a rematch from last year and Florida Memorial let me tell you something Virginia State has been coming for this title all season long they have been on point I'm talking about everything from the music the dancers the videos and the way they edit it together it's always gonna leave you feeling good I mean they are on it they are coming for that number one spot so Florida Memorial you all better bring it if you want to hold on to that title because Virginia State has been kicking ass all season okay so that's that and I'm going to continue to enjoy my time here I'll be back at home this weekend and that's when you'll see all the other review videos like I'm definitely getting to that Florida Classic Halftime Show I've been posting things to social media but I have been looking at social media because we've been so busy and I don't want to see anything, but I did see a formation that Cookman put Scam You on the field. So I'm excited to see these shows and see what's going down because I'm pretty sure they're talking about that fake check that fam you thought they had and I'm pretty sure that was incorporating their show in some kind of funny way so and I'm excited to see the Jackson and Alcorn clips and games and stuff like that so I'm gonna get back into it so I get back home so that's it for this one and let me ask you all of this so do you agree with ESPN scores or do you not let me know and comment down below bye